So in the previous video, I've already introduced how a matrix can be considered as a transformation, and if you want to take it into a bit more of a general route, if you want to map uh, point P with coordinates X, Y to another point, so let's say, say uh, point P prime, and that would be X prime, Y prime, then a matrix A, B, C, D will transform X, Y onto those new coordinates, X prime, Y prime. And so this is how you can see a matrix as a linear transformation, mapping a set of coordinates onto another set of coordinates. Turning my pen around. I thankfully didn't get it on myself. You'll be pleased to hear. So, for example, if I had the coordinates of a point Q, and they were uh, 2, 1, and I wanted to know um, what the matrix 1, 8, 3, minus 2 did to those coordinates, and where this matrix would map them to, what I'm doing is applying that matrix to those coordinates. And it's very important that you get the order right here. The matrix is working from the left onto those coordinates. The matrix doesn't appear the other side, it's always appearing on the left. So 1, 8 gets multiplied with 2, 1. So 1 times 2 is 6, uh, 1 times 2 is 2, sorry, plus 8 times 1, so I get 10. Um, and then I've got 3 times 2 is 6, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, so I've got 6 take away 2, which is 4. And so the coordinates 2, 1 get mapped to another set of coordinates by this matrix, which is now 10, 4. Now, it's not immediately clear as to what this matrix is doing, whether it is uh, stretching, uh, rotating or reflecting, it might be a combination of all three. Okay, To unearth as to what exactly the matrix is doing, if you're just given a random matrix like that, that's quite challenging um, and requires quite a lot of in-depth looking at it and uh, algebra. So it's not always very clear, but there are definitely some matrices that we need to be able to identify and look at, and that's what we're going to be considering in the next few videos.